What was it like to have everyone back together again? Did everyone just fall back into the rhythm? It was such a treat to have everyone back together again for the third movie. Um, I think there was a while where we didn't know if the third movie was going to happen. And so when it did, it was so joyful to see everyone and jump right back into it and be like, hey, we're all on the same page. We're trying to do the same thing here. It was just magnificent. I loved it. Tell us how it felt to bring Craglin back as a full-fledged member of the Guardians. For me, it was really great to see Craglin kind of fulfill his place within the, the Guardians after all he had been through in the first couple of movies. And he kind of struggles to find where he is. And just like all the Guardians, you know, it, it's kind of a found family for him where he, he, he realizes, hey, I belong here with everyone. And the, the, the journey of figuring all that out was the same for me as it was for Craglin. And that was really just a cool, cool part of it. Craglin now has the Yaka arrow. What does that mean to him and how is he challenged by it? Craglin feels a really strong sense of responsibility for uh, the Ravager Code and for upholding the things that he he's learned from Yandu and from the other Guardians. So now that he has the Yaka arrow, it's that much more responsibility, which I think is part of what makes it so difficult for him to master. He feels like he wants to do it right and I have to do it right, um, which, which is a hard thing to kind of put together. It's not until he realizes, oh wait, this is this is inside of me already, that he's able to kind of start to figure out what it all really means. We've heard that James plays the songs from the playlist on set that correlates with the scene being shot. How does that inform you as an actor? My brother James plays the songs from the soundtrack on set when we shoot the scenes. So um, it's really great for us as actors to know to know where we are and, and to understand tone-wise and rhythm-wise how these scenes are, are working. And a really cool thing about the third movie is so often the, the the characters are actually listening to the songs that the the audience is listening to. You know, Rocket has the Zune and we see him singing along so we know Rocket knows and loves all these songs. So it's just kind of perfect that they have that soundtrack going to, to what they're doing. The practical sets are amazing. Can you describe their your favorite set and tell us why it impressed you? Uh, so many of our of our sets are practical sets uh, on the Guardians movie. So many are built, which is awesome that we're not just standing in front of a in front of a green screen the whole time. Um, and I I don't think that I'll ever in my life see a set that impressed me more than downtown nowhere where the Guardians you know have have sort of set up shop, which is just a huge space and it feels like you're walking into a city because you are. What was it like to wrap this last film of the trilogy? Was it bittersweet? It was bittersweet to wrap the the last film of the Guardians trilogy because it's so sad to like, you know, be saying any kind of a goodbye to the characters, to the other actors and all these things. It's really, it's really tricky, but I kind of try to keep my eye on the fact that it's it's really a joyful experience to finish something and share it with people and to give it away. That's what we are always working towards as storytellers, to, to not just make the story, but tell the story. And so I know that that's where we are now, so I try not to get too sad by any of it and really kind of celebrate the whole thing. Tell us about being on set, the on-set rocket and how that helps the actors. Um, my my job as Rocket on set is really a, a kind of part of the whole process for that character. It takes a whole team of people to create Rocket. So um, I kind of think of it in, in, in a way as a relay race that that James writes the character and, and passes it along to me. And I work with the other actors on set to try to get... The, help the scenes get to where they need to be. Then the visual effects team takes over and they start to put Rocket together. And then finally, we all hand the baton to our anchor, Bradley, who makes the whole performance just pop and make it really work in the context of everything. Final question. What do you hope audiences experience when they see this film? When audiences see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, I hope that it feels like a satisfying... Uh, 
conclusion to the story of the three films. I, I just hope that audiences feel like this whole thing makes sense. And I hope that they, they believe not just in the characters and love the characters, but that they believe in the concept of the Guardians, which is that you can find your family anywhere and that we're all in this together. And that, you know, uh, having love for everyone is, is part of why we're here and it's what's gonna keep us going and keep us strong.